The one thing I need is a watering can. I'm watering too hard on some of my plants and I like hurt some of them. But this is so cool. I love this shoe. Though those heels broke the last time I wore them, so. Gotta use them. All right, so now show me what you got. All right, um, here's what I got. So All last right, time you left were to here, right. Oh, uh, yeah, let me not treat things that are dying. This is foxglove. These are flowers that do well in the shade. They're not doing that great here. It's taking a very long time to grow. But this is arugula, and I watered it a little too hard. But oh. these were seeds from the Philly Seed Coalition. Where? What is that? Uh, I'm not exactly totally sure what it is, but... Russ went to a fair and they were giving um, the selling seeds, so he bought a uh, arugula mix and some sugar snap peas. Um, wow. And the rest are botanical interest seeds and then heirloom seeds of my own. Heirloom seeds, meaning they I came. Saved, I saved them from last year. Oh, okay. Um, so we got wheatgrass, these are flowers, these are bush beans, basil. This is basil that's dying, don't look at it. These are Monsanto seeds, actually. This is a spice mix I found in the house. How are they doing? They're doing okay. They're not doing as they took. They sprouted first, but as everything else has been catching up, they haven't been doing as great as the other stuff. The this is basil, cilantro, marigolds, tomato, lettuce mescaline lettuce, bok choy, and sugar snap peas. And I got some bugs biting on here. So I'm gonna get neem oil, mix it with some Dr. Bronner's water, and spray it on at night to try to keep them away. Oh, wow. So that's a natural remedy that you wouldn't mind eating. Yeah, it's an it's an, it's a organic pesticide. It doesn't, it won't work for the really, really big stuff, but for like little critters, it'll be fine. Wow, that is a really cool looking garden. And so you've got these in pots, but you've also got over here your L-shaped landscape of what's going to be a garden. Yeah, this we haven't planted anything yet. I think we want to plant some tomatoes, and then we have these, um, there was just a, a, a run for like an environmental group, and they were giving away the running bibs you could plant. Yeah. Flowers. We wanted to see if one of those would grow. And then we have flowers. Oh, here. and you have flowers along the fence here. So we want bees and butterflies and things to come. This is gonna be so green. Butterflies. Come, come like the uh, end of spring, beginning of summer. I hope that this whole place is just. Me too. I want to replant. Surrounded in green. Some of that. I'm still getting um, some clippings from my family. They're gonna bring me some more arugula from the home and a little fig tree, which I won't be able, which won't start fruiting this year, but will fruit next year. Wow. All right. Let me see how far back I can get to get the whole garden. So we don't have a lot yet, but uh, things are coming along, like for sure. They sure are. I love it. You're doing some great work over here. Yeah, we have flowers in the front too, and our compost. Show me. Like to... So this is the compost. You keep that in the kitchen, and so whenever you're cooking, you just throw things in that plastic, and then when you come outside, you dump it into the yeah. old trash can. And then one of the mm. other people that lives here does like this. And they like mix it all together. They seem to have fun with it, so I just let them do it. But you can see it's like all nasty and delicious. And we're yeah. Gonna, we're gonna mix that in a little L-shaped garden before we plant. Cool. So you're gonna enrich the soil with some of your old produce. Yeah. Very cool. And this is all stuff that anybody in the city could do. Anybody could do it. There's somebody around the corner that has a really nice like little garden that they made up. People next door have a garden. Garden. Yeah, I mean, so like square footage wise, this isn't much more than a bedroom, but as you can see, you can do a lot with just a little bit of space here. You're hanging stuff on the um, fences, you're digging up some bricks and, and putting dirt there and putting down compost. This was the hardest part because there were a lot of bricks in the soil and I had to dig them all out. Okay. Um, Most people in the city probably wouldn't even have this obstacle to overcome. So everyone, you should plant your own garden. 
If you're living in the city, if you're living in the country, you have no excuse. Everyone can plant their own food. Should be doing it. Cause, you know, what else are you gonna do?